Do you want to make YouTube videos like making the photo? Today I'm taking you on a behind the scenes journey to show you how I create these super cool videos for all of you. I get tons of comments about the visuals and the fast paced scenes. So let's dive into how it's all done. Spoiler alert, I use Canva and it's a game changer. First, I need a script. You know, something snappy and to the point. I jot down my ideas, sometimes in more detail than others. And then I turn to ChatGPT for a little help with organization and tone. ChatGPT is amazing for creating first drafts, brainstorming, and even giving me a fresh way to explain something. Plus, it helps me lighten up the tone of my videos for a more enjoyable experience. Let's take a sample video. The main idea is how AI image generators have become so realistic that stock photography is pretty much a thing of the past. I can whip up an awesome custom image in Midjourney or Adobe Firefly in no time at all. In this case, I had quite a few thoughts on the topic. I wrote them down and asked ChatGPT to give me the most popular types of stock photography. Now here's the secret sauce, cutting out all the extra words, all of them. I'm ruthless about this. If it doesn't add value, it's gotta go. A lot of you appreciate the streamlined content and honestly, I create videos that I want to watch. No one's got time for long, fluffy videos. Let's get to the point, right? A few things about my script formula. I love starting with a question or a problem, followed by a brief intro before diving into the juicy content. And of course, I always wrap things up with a call for comments and my signature outro. The tone is conversational the way I naturally talk. If I can't imagine me saying something like this, then I cut it out. I also like to break the scripts down into smaller chunks. I often add headings in the video. This keeps things moving and organized. I often run my final scripts through ChatGPT for analysis. I simply ask if it's an engaging script for a YouTube video and to suggest changes. And I ask if there's anything I can add to the script. Sometimes ChatGPT has given me some great notes. Since I'm using Canva to create videos, I've got to give a shout out to Canva's amazing Magic Write feature. It's Canva's version of an AI text generator. I use ChatGPT4, but if you're looking for a quick text block, Canva's got you covered. Just ask Canva to fill in the content and you've got a great starting point. Now it's time to record the script. I've decided to do voiceover style videos. I don't appear on screen. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, it keeps the videos very content-oriented rather than personality-driven. There are pros and cons to a voiceover format. I've tried both ways, but when I was on screen, it was just so much tougher to edit the video, and I had a hard time looking natural. Doing voiceovers lets me concentrate on the content without being nervous. Maybe one day I'll switch things up, but for now, the style works for me. Recording the script helps me get the timing just right for the video. I use Audacity to edit the audio. I trim out any repetition, pauses, and compress the content to keep things snappy. Sometimes I add a bit of silence to let the visual shine. My goal is to keep the videos between five and 10 minutes long, because let's be real, no one's got time for a never ending video. Once it's recorded, I import it into Canva and that's where the magic happens. And by the way, if you're curious about my recording equipment, just check the description below. Now let's get to the fun part visuals. Start by creating a 1920 by 1080 video in Canva. You can use a blank canvas like I do or choose from hundreds of templates. I usually kick things off by picking an animated background from Canva's stock library. Something colorful and dynamic but not too distracting. I'm using Canva Pro so there are a lot of stock images and photos to choose from. For my visuals, I like to take screenshots or screen recordings. If you're working on a Mac, it's super easy. Just use the Shift, Command, three, four, or five keys. I'm a huge fan of the frame interpolation tool in Runway, and based on your comments, you love it too. I also use Canva's stock images and videos, but I love creating my own visuals when possible. If I say something is mind-blowing, I want an explosion on the screen. And if I'm teaching you how to do something, I want to show you, not just tell you. Canva also has a sweet text-to-image generation tool, so don't be shy about giving that a try. In Canva, create new slides for each bit of content and adjust the slide timings to match your audio. Videos will automatically play, which makes your life a whole lot easier. 
To keep things lively, I add a lot of transitions between and within slides. Movement is everything in video, otherwise we'd be just looking at a boring slideshow. I look for lots of opportunities for video assets to move, but I don't want the animation to be distracting. If I'm showing you a video screen capture, I will either slow the movement down or make the video static. I try to use different animations throughout the video, but not too many on any one slide. Canva really isn't a video editor. If you want more video editing options, try an app like InShot. I use InShot for extra transitions and pacing control. Or for more power, there's always DaVinci Resolve. I will use these tools, but honestly, most of the time Canva does the trick just fine. It can take me some time to find the best way to visualize my script. I want you to be able to listen and get the gist of what I'm saying, but the visuals should add that extra layer of understanding. If you could just listen to the script and get everything, I might as well be doing a podcast. I tap into my background in education and freelance writing to keep things fresh and engaging. Let's look at some sample assets for a video about how AI is replacing stock photography. I might want to show how expensive and time consuming it can be to find the right image on a stock photography site. To show you this, maybe I'll take a screenshot video scrolling through stock photography websites. Or I'll run a search and show you how what I'm looking for is missing. Or I'll show you a cost breakdown of all the images that I've chosen. I may want to show different types of stock photography and the result in a few AI image generators. Maybe I'll show them side by side and show you how close the images can be. Maybe I'll give you a template prompt that shows you how to create your own stock images. Or I can show you the results in different AI image generators, how you can get realistic photos in Midjourney, Leonardo AI, Blue Willow, and Firefly. It's about getting creative and showing what you're talking about. I've got one personal rule. No content shall last more than five or six seconds. If a static image is hanging around too long, it's time to mix things up. Maybe I'll zoom in or switch to another example. When I'm happy with how the script and visuals line up, I'm into the finishing touches. I add a music track, something with a beat but not too distracting. I keep the volume low and let it swell at the end. Sometimes I'll throw in some sound effects. I'd like to do more of this actually. Canva is a bit basic for sound effects, but it's doable. They have stock sound effects or I head over to freesound.org for more options. For more precise editing, I need to use DaVinci Resolve. Canva makes video creation a breeze. I start with my script recording, then I add visuals to show you what I'm talking about. A few tips for you video creators out there. Think about what you're going to say and keep it interesting and skip the fluff. We don't need extra padding just to make the videos longer. In video, it's all about animation and movement. That's the name of the game. Let us know some of the things that make a YouTube video great for you in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.